Welcome to Electron Online. Let's take a look at this problem right here. We're taking the limit as x approaches 0 of the cotangent of x times the sine of 2x. It's not even in fractional form, and if we do plug in 0, let's see what we get. When we let x equal 0, this becomes the cotangent of 0 times the sine of 2 times 0. Now the cotangent of 0, that is infinity, and the sine of 2 times 0 is equal to 0. We have infinity times 0 when we plug in the limit. It's not the right format if we want to use L'Hopital's rule. What we're going to do here is rewrite this problem right here. Instead of writing the cotangent, we'll write the limit as x approaches 0 of the cosine of x divided by the sine of x times we still have the sine of 2x. Now when we plug in the limit, let's see what happens. This becomes equal to the cosine of 0 times the sine of 0 divided by the sine of 0, which is equal to 1 times 0 divided by 0, or 0 divided by 0. In the determinant form, and for this we can use L'Hopital's rule. When we, conf when we change the function from this form to this form, we now have it in a form where we can use L'Hopital's rule. Let's take the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator and see what we get when we plug in the limit then. We get the limit as x approaches 0 of now the numerator, that is a product. So we take the first, the cosine of x, times the derivative of the second. The derivative of the sine of x is the cosine of x, so this becomes the cosine of 2x, times the derivative of the angle, which is 2, divided by... Oh, I'm not done yet, that's only the first part, plus the, the second, which is the sine of 2x, times the derivative of the first, which is the minus sine. And the whole thing divided by the derivative of the sine of x, which becomes the cosine of x. Now we can go ahead and plug in the limit and see what we get. This would be equal to, when we plug in 0, we get the cosine of 0 times 2 times, I'm bringing the 2 over here, 2 times the cosine of 0 plus actually a minus because the minus here becomes a minus the sine of 0 times the sine of 0 all divided by the cosine of 0 now let's evaluate that because the cosine of 0 is 1 1 times 2 times 1 that would be 2 minus that would be 0 times 0 divided by 1, or 2 divided by 1, which is equal to 2. The limit of that function is actually 2, as long as we change it from this form to that form, take the derivative of the numerator, take the derivative of the denominator, then evaluate the limit, and now we get the proper limit for the function. Again, L'Hopital's rule to the rescue, and this is how we do that.